Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get this super, super, super easy Christmas glam makeup look. This is pretty much for you guys out there who are want to go on a Christmas night out or you're going out for dinner or whatever it might be for Christmas and you don't have much time to do it. And if you're someone who's not that confident in doing makeup, honestly, it's super, super easy. You will literally be out the door within like 15-20 minutes with this look, I promise. Because December is one of those months where everybody is running around mad because it's just such a hectic month. So I do get that not everyone has the time to come home and get super glam to then go out. It's even something you could just wear to go to work, depending on where you work. <laughs> I do apologise for not uploading in like the past month. I don't really have a good excuse, it's just life happened, I suppose. So there's someone out in the hall making noise, so I'm just waiting for them to... Shh. To be fair, it is half past one in the morning. And, yeah. So if I'm talking a little bit quieter than I usually am, that's why. And how cute is this jumper, though? Like, looks just normal on the front. And then when you turn to the side, it's got, like, these silver sequins which I am so in love with. Kind of matches my backdrop as well which is why I kind of wore it and it kind of gives me like Christmassy vibes just like yes mm -hmm. so yeah guys I'm just gonna get jumping straight into the video because it's meant to be quick and snappy anyway so let's just get straight into it. If you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already then please make sure you do before you continue on. Thank you very much and yeah guys if you want to see how to get super glam very easy and quickly, then please keep on watching. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just get right into it, shall we? So, what I've already done is I've already done my brows off camera and I've already carved them out. I will leave the link to my brow tutorial down below if you want to go and check that out. I'm kind of planning on doing an up-to-date one just because I feel like that one it just doesn't do it for me anymore if you get what I mean. A new brow tutorial will be coming soon and what I use for my brows today is the Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo cream eyeshadow in the shade permanent taupe which is basically just this really cool toned kind of brown colour and it kind of works the exact same way as an eyebrow pomade would work. It's just always worked for me and it's like a really cool toned shade and it's so cheap. We love a good bargain. And then after that I just went underneath and cleaned up my brows with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and the Fine Concealer in the shade 0 0.5. I'm also going to be using this as an eye base. I usually would use my beloved P. Louise eye base, but I'm finished and I don't know if that would be classed as a drugstore product. Actually, it's only £10, it's not that much. But yeah, if I had that or if you do have that, use that, but instead I'm going to be using a concealer today. Pretty much works the exact same way, right, as long as it covers my disgusting eyelids. We're all good to go. So we're just going to bit with this concealer in the shade 0 0.5 and I'm using like my little tiny beauty blender just to blend that in. Nothing special. And once I've got all that base on I'm just going to set it into place with the Rimmel London Translucent Loose Powder which is such a good powder. It's air light as well which means it's not going to be cakey or anything like that. I'm not into Kickiness. Wow, I look like I've literally just sat out in the sun with sunglasses on and I've got like two white patches and I've got like a big red face. Okay, so the palette that I'm going to be using today for this look is the Makeup Revolution and Soph palette. This is her first original palette with Revolution. She also has another one which has just came out most recently and it is the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette. You've got pretty much every colour you need in here, like what have you not got, especially for Christmas. So by the way, there is a lot or quite a few Makeup Revolution products that I'm going to be using today. Just in case you think I'm like sponsoring them or something, I'm not. I just really like them and they've really upped their game in the past little while, so yeah. Okay, so the first colour I'm going to go in with is this one right here. I am, I did have the sheet name, can't remember where I put it at all, so it's this kind of like really nice kind of 
biscuity shade and I'm really just going to start by popping that all the way through my crease. And I'm really not doing anything special, I'm literally just buffing this all the way from my crease because this is going to be like the base colour for us to build all of our other eyeshadows on top of it. So next up I'm just going to take a bit of this colour here and I'm just going to use that to start deepening up my crease ever so slightly. So yeah, I'm literally just using this colour just to deepen up my crease ever so slightly. Make sure everything is nice and blended, like that's the whole point. And then I'm just going in with my previous brush and I'm just going to go in and kind of buff that colour out a bit more. Just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Okay, so now that we've got those on, I'm then going to go in. I don't really know if I want to deepen it anymore. You know what, we'll deepen it a little bit more. Depending on what where you're going, if you're going for like a dinner and you still want to look a bit natural, then I would stop here in terms of deepening up the crease. But if you're going like out, out on like a Christmas night out, I would deepen up a little bit more. Just, just, just. I'm back in with that really small brush that I used for that colour just there and I'm going to go in with a little bit of this colour just to deepen up ever so slightly. Just starting by packing on the outer corner of my eye and really focusing most of the intensity there and then just buffing it into the rest of my crease. Which I just added a tiny bit, just to give it a bit more definition. Same on the other side as well, obviously. Now again, I'm just going back in with my first brush that I use for my transition shade, and I'm just making sure that every edge is blended to perfection. Okay, just stop, Jason. Okay, so now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and pop a bit of gold onto my lid now. I'm going to go in for this one here, kind of like the medium kind of colour. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm literally just going to pat it onto like the centre of my lid where there is practically no eyeshadow at all. And I'm literally just going to kind of like just pat it on in little pan motions and bring it into my inner corner. Honestly, it can't get any easier than that. I mean, super easy, super simple, not a lot of time at all. <laughs> Just going to go ahead and do the same in the other eye. What I want to do is, I'm just going to go in with like this really pale gold here, and I'm just going to pop this in like the centre, like the very centre of my lid. Just to make it pop a bit more. And it's Christmas, so I need to spice it up a bit, you know. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the skin. And I've already went in and prepped my skin with the Nip and Frab Dragon's Blood Plumping Serum. If you have not tried this, get yourself to Super Drug. I think, I don't know if Superdrug is the only place that sells it in the UK, but go online and get yourself a bottle of this. It is the best skin prep ever, and I'm not even exaggerating, it is so, so good. And for foundation, I'm going to go in with two foundations, both by Revolution. first foundation I'm going to go in with is the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops in the shade F3. And then I'm also going to mix a bit of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F3 as well. So I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro one first, um, just because it is really hydrating and it's like a dewy, glowy finish that you get from it. The coverage is okay, it's quite good coverage for a liquidy foundation. 
um, but it's not enough coverage, which is why I'm going on with this one. But the reason why I don't use this on its own is because it's a matte finish and it would dry my skin so much. I did like it on its own for a while and then I realised that it was starting to dry my skin. It is a really great foundation, but I feel like the both of these mixed together, you're going to get the best of both. What I want to do is I'm just going to go in with the Pro Drops first. <laughs> And then what I'll do is I'll go in with the Conceal and Define one and I'll just dot that about. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend that all together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade 0 0.5 just to highlight my face. It does look so pale. I'm not going to lie. Now that we're all blended to perfection and all of our imperfections are covered up, um, I'm just going to go in with the Revolution Pro mineralized skin finish or just skin finish i'm thinking of the mac one because it literally is a dupe for the mac mineralized skin finish it does look really shiny on camera but in real life it does have a bit of a glow to it but not much but what i'm going to use this for is i'm just going to use this just to set everywhere i put the concealer and what this is going to do is it's going to set it but still give my face a glow because i don't like to mattify my skin so i'm not putting this all over my face i'm just putting it where i put the concealer like, as you can see, it literally just gives a bit of a glow, um, not necessarily like a full-on highlight, but you can use this as highlighter as well. It does not mattify at all, it still gives your face like that nice glow, um, because like I said, I don't like mattifying my skin. I hate having matte skin. I used to love having matte skin. But now I absolutely despise it. Okay, so now that everywhere is set that I need to set, I'm going to go in with bronzer and a bit of contour. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Academy Matte Bronzer Perfection Powder. This is so cheap, it's like £4, but it's such a good bronzer. Like, if you've not got this, I highly recommend that you go and pick it up because they're always sold out in Superdrug. Always. to the gods. I don't even think bronze to the gods is a thing but if it isn't I'm making it a thing. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with a bit of a contour and I'm going to go in with my peaches and cream sculpting powder. I need to get another one because I've like cut a pan on it and I love it so I'm actually just going to go in the hollows of the cheekbones with this. Bring it up to the very corners of my forehead. Okay, so now that that is done and dusted, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just go in and highlight now. The highlighter that I'm going to use today is this one right here. This is the, the Primark or Primark, however you pronounce it, but here in Scotland, most of us say Primark. The double dimension highlighter, and it's that blending that it's not even want to drop in camera. If I tilt it away from the light, you can see it's like a very kind of light pale gold and it's also a snowflake in it as well. Let's just hope it looks like that on my cheekbone. So I'm going to take a little bit of it first. I don't want to take too much. The texture of it kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Amrise highlighter. I don't really see much. Yeah, I can see it a little bit. Maybe if I swirl around the pan. Ah, uh, there we go, I can see it now. I feel like to get like a good enough pigment from this highlighter, I'm having to like swirl around in it quite a lot to even get good highlight from it when really, if I use other highlighters, I can get the same payback from just like one sweep. Oh, 
gonna look how cute I am looking. Now that that's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the Rimmel Loose Translucent Powder and just use it to clean underneath my contour a little bit, just to clean it up ever so slightly because it's looking a little bit harsh. Well, I'm waiting on that just to clean up a little bit, I'm just gonna go in quickly underneath my eyes, just a little bit of eyeshadow just to really tie the whole look in. I'm literally just gonna take this colour here and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this colour. Um, on the small detail brush which I used before and I'm literally just going to run it underneath my eyes really quickly run it underneath and call it a day it was super easy literally just sweeping it underneath just to really tie it all together because I feel like there was something missing I'm just going to take a bit of that pale gold shade as well just to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go off camera and shove on some mascara and some false lashes and wipe away this bake and we'll be back for the lips. Alright, so I am back and I've literally... Mm -hmm. I hate when things drop on the floor. All I've done is popped on some mascara and for that I used the Rimmel London Wow Wings mascara. It is amazing mascara. I have used it quite a lot recently and I love it. And then for lashes I just used some of the... Wonderland Cosmetics lashes. Um, they actually do look a bit more dramatic than what they are. They're actually quite natural in the eyes and I didn't want to go for anything too heavy in the eyes. I had thicker ones than these by Wonderland Cosmetics but I wasn't feeling it. It's quite a natural look. We're going natural today, honey. So in terms of lips, since I have went natural on the eyes, just nice warm vibes. I'm going to go in with this liquid lipstick here. It is the Lottie London X Twilie. I need to stop dropping things, like, honestly. So, yeah, it's a Lottie London X Twilly liquid lipstick in the shade Extra AF. It's just a gorgeous red colour, very pretty for Christmas. And that's not only that, I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but there is, like, when it dries down to a matte formula, once you smudge your lips, little bits of, like, goes all sparkly and it's so cool. This is Christmas, it's all about the red lip. Come on. Honestly, I think that just ties the whole look in. Like, I feel like that is what was missing. A true red lipstick. So yeah, guys, that pretty much just completes this look. It is super easy to do, honestly. I know not a lot of you guys have a lot of time when you come home from work, and I get that December can be quite a busy time of the year. So if you are going on a night out, or if you're just going out for dinner, and you want to look pretty, and you want to look like you're part of the... Christmas season and this is definitely a look that I would go to all the time. It is one of my go-to Christmas looks that is just so simple and easy just to get out the door. So yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video and it's just the usual stuff. If you like the video and you feel like it's helped you out a little bit please give me a big thumbs up. I would really really appreciate it and before you go there's a button down there called subscribe. Make sure you hit it and become of the part of the fam here on YouTube you know. And yeah guys, thank you again so much for watching and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye guys.